Welcome to the Bellingcat how-to series. This series is aimed at anyone who wants to use Bellingcat's research tools. In this video, we'll be learning how to use Bellingcat's Edgar tool for searching company financial filings, specifically those filed with the SEC. That's the United States Securities and Exchange Commission. Hi there, my name's Galen Reich, tech community lead at Bellingcat. And in this video, we'll cover how to search the SEC's database of corporate financial information. First, we'll introduce the SEC's search tool and its limitations. Then we'll talk about why you might want to use Edgar in an investigation. And finally, we'll show you how to use the Bellingcat Edgar tool. The Edgar search provided by the SEC allows you to search the Edgar database of corporate and financial data. It's accessible for free and contains millions of filings by public companies going back to the early 90s. The SEC search gives you free access to accurate financial data for open source research. This is great for small scale searches and times where you're looking for single documents, but the SEC search tool has some limitations that could get in the way of your digital investigations. That's where the Bellingcat Edgar tool can help. Originally built by our tech fellow, George Dyer, and developed by our fantastic volunteer community, the tool offers some extra features. You can search over 10,000 results at once, so you don't have to worry about that search result limit. You can save and download your search results. And the tool provides backup links to the source pages and repairs broken URLs for more reliable links to the source documents. All of our tools are focused on being useful for investigation, so let's hear from Bellingcat researcher Kalina Koltai to talk about when the Edgar tool can be particularly useful. Thanks, Galen. With the US elections coming up, I'm excited to use this tool for researching financial donations to political parties. You can use this tool to conduct research into corporate influence on elections by searching for campaign funding and lobbying disclosures filed by public companies to the SEC. Using the Bellingcat tool, we can search for keywords like political contributions, lobbying, and PAC donations. One of the most useful features is the ability to download and analyze data in different ways. So we can search for patterns and identify changes in donation contributions of companies over time. Back over to you, Galen. Thanks, Kalina. Let's give it a try. You can access the tool using the link in the description. The tool will open in Google Colab, which offers a user interface for running the tool. To search, just fill out the form with all the relevant fields. Place keywords in the search keywords field. You can use quotes to search for an exact term, though it is case insensitive. Let's search for filings mentioning artificial intelligence. I'll set the start date using the calendar icon to get all matching filings published since 2001. The other fields, filing type, company CIK, filter by location and location are all different ways to narrow the results down further. Let's not worry about those for now. They can stay blank. I run the tool by clicking this button to the left of the form. If you forget where this is, look for the text and arrow that tells you where to click. Larger searches will take a little while to complete as the tool gathers all of the results, so try to be patient. We've edited it out, but this search took well over 10 minutes to run. Once the tool completes its search though, you get the following output. In the output, there are some details about the company and file type. And here you can find the URLs to the filings. One useful feature of Bellingcat's tool is that it repairs broken URLs and provides extra URLs linking to the source of the files to make sure that you can access them. Another useful feature is the ability to filter the results by location, for example. This way you can see if there are patterns in your data. Finally, another feature of this tool is that it makes the data available as a CSV file, which you can open in any spreadsheet program like Excel to do further analysis. You can download the CSV by clicking here. As an example of this type of analysis, one that I did earlier, this graph shows the number of filings that mention artificial intelligence and how that's changed since 2001. And that's it. Thank you for taking the time to learn about the Edgar tool with me. If you have any questions or get stuck, we have an active and helpful community in our Discord server. You can also find all of Bellingcat's open source research tools on our GitHub. Links in the description. Hopefully these videos will help you get started on your own financial open source investigations. 
If you're interested in how to use other Bellingcat tools, check out our other videos in this series. We're going to be making more of these videos in the future, so comment down below what tool you'd like us to cover next.